Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It is Dave here, and before we get started, make sure you please smack this video with a like and subscribe because we are on the road to 200 subs and it's free. So without further ado, let's get into it. And yeah, I just got back seeing Memory, the latest... Lee Ham, I'm supposed to be retired, but not retired, Neeson film. And, oh, boy. Yeah. Um, 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 um. I'm just saying, it's a watered down taken. I didn't go into this film with very much of expectations anyways. Thank goodness I didn't. Because it's not that great. It isn't terrible, but it's not dog crap. It's not overbearing, but it's not a masterpiece. It just fits in the middle of being okay. At best. I went to the 3 o'clock showing, and I think there was like a total of 8 people in my theater. That's bad for a movie when you have only eight people in your theater. That's not good. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and discuss the film. Pretty much, Memory is a Liam Neeson, I'm going to be a hitman, trying to go after these bad, bad guys who... Hired me to go kill a child who was used for mm, very bad things that a child shouldn't have to do. That's basically the plot synopsis of the film. And the whole hour and a half so, it's kind of just a snooze fest. I mean... Like I said, the plot is boring and basic AF. It's not even creative. I mean, the cops and the detectives and the FBI agents weren't weren't all that entertaining at all. I mean, oh yeah, let's try to catch the bad guys who are doing criminally bad things in a way that's so boring and just... Boring, 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 boring. I think I lost track of time halfway to the movie because I just didn't care. So that's the negatives of the film. Not not to mention, I didn't care about any of the FBI agents. The detective tried to act like a hard A. A little too much of a hard A and I didn't believe it. It wasn't believable to me. I didn't care about the main protagonist, the the main lady who set up all of these issues and the whole and her little assistant who was trying to make Liam's character Alex go through the killing of the child or something like that. I don't know. Like I said, this movie's titled Memory. Oh, I wish I could remember not going to a theater and seeing this ever again. So that's majority of the negatives. I will give one positive. Because there is a positive. And the positive is Liam Neeson. The dude is just perfect in serious roles. Do I like him always being in serious roles? Absolutely not. Do I think he needs to branch out some more? Yes, if you're going to stay unretired, you need to branch out. The whole, my, my name is Liam Neeson, and I have a set of skills that make me dangerous for guys like you. And I, when I find you, I will kill you. Only gets you so far. It worked in Taken. And that's about it. Other than that, you haven't had a good movie since. I could be wrong, but I didn't really like your Netflix movie you had like a couple years ago about the about a truck, a uh, trucker and an ice. I can't remember. It's been so long. 
If you remember it, you let me know in the comment section below. I'm rambling and I need to stop. Point being is that this movie is watered down taken. I didn't enjoy it. I would recommend not seeing this unless you are a Liam Neeson fan and you go in with low expectations. Very, very low expectations. I am going to give this movie a final verdict of a 2.5 out of 5. The 5 extra points are because I'm okay with Liam Neeson as an actor. I can still tolerate him. I just wish... Please, Liam, branch out. Because I won't be so nice with my scoring next movie I give you. It was going to be a two. It was going to be a two all day long. But I gave it the extra five points because I like you as an actor. And I appreciate and there was much action. Hence why I say watered down taken. So yeah, there you go, guys. That is my thoughts on... Memory, the newest Liam Neeson movie. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you even plan on seeing this? Do you even care? Yeah. And until the next movie review, it's Dave, and this has been a wrap.